Welcome to another MP4Nation.net video and review. I'm um, just doing a quick review, uh, well, a quick review of the music interface for the Ramos T11 RK. Uh, I received some, uh, well, there were some people on the forums that wanted me to show this in a little bit more detail, like showing the album art, how it looks, the layout of the ID3 information, and how the cover flow works. Uh, the cover flow works pretty nice. You can see in some cases where I do have album art shows up. Uh, I don't. Not all my music has album art, as you can see. And some of them do have album art, but for some reason it isn't showing up on this. I'm putting that to just you know the firmware being relatively new and still having bugs in it. And the scrolling is dynamic also, so it's as fast as how. Well, it scrolls as fast as you move your finger, or how much effort you put into it, so not too much, and it doesn't scroll a lot. Really fast, and it zooms by, you know. It's quite nice. Uh, again, this, I'm still using the very first firmware that was released for this player. Uh, I have not updated it. So, depending on when you see this, please keep that in mind as it may have greatly changed since the time of this video review, well, since when I made this. And you got your different options. You got your MSEQ, you can pick your different type. You use EQ, you can change stuff there. I have also found that using a stylus can be pretty useful for these very small things. And you got your Repeat mode. And you can also change the EQ from down there. Uh, the audio out of the, the actual speaker isn't great. It isn't anything, you know, uh, outstanding. But the audio out of the earphone is really nice on this. And again, the scrolling for the music, uh, for the music list is again dynamic. And again, how fast it moves is relative to how fast you move your finger up and down. The faster, yeah. And these little blue dots here is basically adding the song to your favorites list. So you got this. Add it to your playlist. And there we go. It'll show up there and you can remove it by pressing X. Yes. You can add entire artists. And you got the whole all the artists there. Or albums. So, you know. It's quite useful. It's far more advanced than what was previously on Rock Chip Players. Uh genres. And you can also make um, hold on plays basically making bookmarks. Uh, like now playing. Oh, there we go. Not sure why I didn't do that on the first time when I pressed it. But again, first firmware, don't worry about it. It's still very good and not that buggy. Uh, and see, it's a nice user interface. It's not too complicated, very interactive, uh, something everyone will like. Um, don't worry too much about the touch screen and how, how sensitive it is, or a lack of. Uh, I've had no real problems with it. Uh, it just takes some getting used to. And again, if you use like the back of your fingernail, uh, the back of your finger where your fingernail is, you get far better control over the touch screen than you would with your actual finger. And that's primarily to, due to the, like, if you use your finger, the front of your finger, it just sticks more to the screen. So, uh, some people may find it easier to use with a stylus. It's up to you. But overall, there's the music interface. I do like this cover flow it has. 
And, uh, oh, let me just show one other thing. If you go, like, say if you go to Coplay only, you go to Artist, then you do the cover play, you'll only have all the Coldplay songs there. It won't start showing, uh, it won't start showing other stuff. So that's nice, too. Anyway, that was just a brief video of uh, how the music interface for the Ramos T11 RK works. Uh, head on over to our forums to discuss this, or head on over to mp4nation.net if you're interested in picking this player up.